guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Rebecca and today we are going to be repotting my variegated ficus elastica, my ficus taniki. I've had this plant for about two years now and although it is not really showing any outward signs really of needing a repot, my gut feeling is just telling me that it does. I was going to try to wait until the springtime, but I have been noticing that the leaves are just feeling a little bit different than they used to. They're a little bit thinner and they're not as glossy as they used to be. So I'm thinking that this guy needs a repot a little bit sooner than later. So we're gonna do that. And then also I have some golden pothos cuttings that I want to pot up along with some Monstera adansonii wide form that I'm going to pop as well. But without further ado, let's jump on into this video. Okay, so I have my workspace set up here pretty much to the best of my ability. I have been wanting one of those uh, little boot trays. I have one out in my back room that I have a lot of my plant supplies on, but I've been meaning to pick up another one, but I have not picked up one of those yet. I keep forgetting. I need to put it on my list. So anyway, this is what we have to work with. Let me grab the plant. Here is this pretty baby. All right, so I'm going to take a knife and just kind of work my way around the edges of the plant so that it'll come out of the pot a little bit easier. I really think I probably should have been doing this at the table. Now that I think about it, but we've already started, so we are going to continue on. All right, that should be good. Let's see if we can get it out of the pot. There we go. And I'll show you these roots. They look pretty good. Maybe a little bit root bound. Not too bad though. If you can see those. It actually looks really good. Okay. Set this right here for a second. The pot that I'm going to be using for today is quite a bit larger than the pot that the plant was in, but it's the only one that I have. I don't have one that's just one size bigger. So we're just going to work with this one and it is terracotta, which is good. The soil mixture that I'm using today is a typical potting mix. And I have added some extra perlite, some orchid bark, and some mosquito bits. The mosquito bits, when mixed into the soil, really help to keep the gnats down. Just a little tip there. Just adding some soil into the bottom of this pot. Now, if this planter was plastic or a glazed ceramic, I would not go with a pot this big, only because there's more of a risk of root rot. But because I know this one will dry out fairly quickly, I'm not too worried about it. There we go. I think that is a little bit better as far as the angle, maybe. Looks pretty good in here. Yeah, I think it's gonna look really good. All right, and I think that is a good position. For the root ball. not too high, it's not too low. So 
So now I am just going to backfill with some soil. My leaves keep hitting my cabinet. All right, let's see. Yeah, I've been meaning to repot this one for a little while. Like I said, not that I was seeing any major signs that it needed a repot. Uh, just kind of a little bit of a gut instinct. So I think it'll do fine in this one. Just make sure that's straight here. Oh, uh, let's see. Is that how I want it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So I hope you've all been doing well. Holidays are over, so we can all take a little bit of a breather. I know I have been. Most recently, I've just been trying to get a few of my planty chores done and out of the way. Trying to keep up on the watering and the maintenance and all that good stuff. recently picked up a couple of new plants that I will be showing you guys in an upcoming video. I don't know whether I will just include them in a tour or whether I will do a separate video for that, but I do have a couple of new ones that I'm super happy about. Very pretty. Ones that I've been wanting for a while. Okay. I almost feel like I probably need to get a stake for this guy. Stake up these side branches. They're really splitting off pretty good. A stake might help them grow upwards a little bit more instead of so splayed out like they are. So maybe I'll do that as well. I really love this plant. The ficus elastica and the other varieties of the rubber tree plant are so easy to care for, provided that they have the proper amount of lighting. They do need quite a bit of sunshine and don't overwater them. They do not like to be overwatered. They will throw out some yellowing leaves. So I have this guy along with my other two rubber tree plants. I have all three of them sitting in my east facing window. So they get lots of bright indirect lighting in the morning and just lots of ambient lighting throughout the afternoon. But I have noticed that some of these leaves are starting to get a little bit more green to them just because it's winter now and the position of the sun has changed so they're not getting as much sunlight as they did but they're still doing very well and they're actually still putting on some new growth although it is quite a bit smaller I don't know if you can see this right here right here that new growth right there it's actually coming in quite a bit smaller than it typically does. Just because it's getting a little bit less sunshine. But still, all in all, growing very well. Looking really good. All right, I think I'm about done with this one. It 
looks good. Let's see, we got enough over here. Press that down a little bit around the edges. I need a bigger workspace. I think that's good guys for this one. <sighs> okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this one in the sink and I'm gonna water it in a little bit and then we'll move on to the cuttings that I have to get potted up. So I'll be right back. Okay, let's get this baby watered in. Alrighty. I'm glad I got this done. It always feels so much better when I tackle some of my plant chores that need to be done. And when you have a lot of plants, they're really kind of never ending. There's always something that needs to be done with the plants. That's looking really good. I'm gonna give the leaves a little spray too. Just rinse them all off. Try not to get everything soaked. Yeah, this guy in the tub. Definitely getting a little too big to be putting in the sink anymore. All right, so I think that's good. So I'm just gonna let this guy drain out for a little while, put him back where he belongs, and then we will move on to the cuttings that I've got to get potted up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what he's looking like. I'll pot it up in the new pot. Leaves are all sprayed off. Looks really good. Super pretty, love this one. If you don't have a ficus taniki, or really any of the rubber tree plants, the ficus elasticos, the taniki, the burgundy rubber tree, and the Ruby Ficus Elastica, they're all beautiful plants. Super easy to grow, like I said, as long as they're given the right amount of sunlight, don't overwater them, and they'll do fine for you. All right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, these are the cuttings that I'm gonna be potting up. I have some golden pothos here that I'm going to divide into two little pots. And then I also have some Monstera adansonii wide form that I'm going to be potting up into this little plastic cup that I've added drainage to at the bottom. Okay, so I guess we'll start out with the adansonii cuttings. So these have been rooting up for, I would say about three weeks or so some pretty decent size roots on them. This one, and then this one here just has a tiny root, but I think it'll be fine anyway. All right. <clears throat> so this Adansonii, I will probably put on Facebook Marketplace. Then the pothos cuttings, the, or the pothos plant that will be potted up, I'm going to give to a friend of mine, actually my next door neighbor. 
said she would like one. So I'm going to pot it up for her. Uh, let's see here. I think I gotta get these cuttings down just a little bit lower. roots down in there. This one. That's going to go like that. Alright, we good. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. It's starting to get late. Brad and I will probably get out and take our doggy, Brady, for W-A-L-K. We went to one of the parks yesterday, a couple of towns over that we actually frequent quite a bit when we take him for a walk. He enjoys it. Tonight we will probably go to a park that is just a little bit closer. It's actually only about five minutes away. He loves going. Actually, I think he heard me because he's walking out into the kitchen right now. He's so funny. Buddy, you're so funny. Buddy, you want to say hi? Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. You wanna say hi, bud? Say hi. Is you a good boy? Yeah, you're my little baby. All right. Okay, back to what we were doing. Okay, I think this one looks good. Big chunk of bark. Snug that down in there pretty good. Not too much, but you know, a little pat. Okay, so this is the first one. Looks very good. Now, let's see. This is kind of a little bit bigger of a pot than I should probably be using. gonna have to work. So this one is going to be going to my next door neighbor. I'll do that one first. I actually think I'm gonna have to get more soil. Alright. And then I'm just going to take some of these and plop them right in here. Both of us are pretty resilient. So I'm just going to tell my friend to watch out for the watering, not to overwater. I'm gonna take this leaf off, I think. It's gonna be too far down into the soil. So there. Um, put this one in the middle. And let's see. And then maybe this one. And I think that is good for this pot. I'll just fill the rest up with some soil. We're done with this one. Of course, I'm making a mess.
fallen under the soil. Pull that out of there so we don't wrap that one out. I think this one is about done. Tuck those down in there. Okay, so this one is done. Cute. Okay, so Bradley is going to go out and get me some more soil. I ran out. So while he's doing that, I might as well just water these ones in. And then these ones will be all good to go. I'll message my friend a little bit later to know that she can take her plant whenever she wants to. easy plants, very easy going, they don't require a lot of care, they don't seem to be too susceptible to that many pests anyway, I've never had any pests on any of mine, but I do know that there are some people that have had issues with like mealybugs or spider mites. Mine haven't had any pests, so that's good. Okay, so this one is all watered in. I can message my friend about that one. Get this one all watered in and put in the sunroom so it can root in a little bit more and acclimate. These Adansonii, especially the wide form, love these plants so much. I'm also wondering if there are a couple of different varieties of the wide form because I have three and let me see, do I have three? No, I have two. I have this one, which the leaves on this guy are super wide and they're big. Like that's like the size of my hand, the leaf. And then I also have one that is, I don't know whether you can see it. I have another one that is right here. And the leaves on this one are actually much smaller than this one that I'm working with right here. This one has some huge leaves on it. So I'm almost kind of wondering if there are a couple of different varieties. Anyway, they're beautiful plants. I wouldn't mind having a narrow form. I know there are some out there that don't really care for the narrow form. I don't know whether it does as well but I wouldn't mind trying it. So we'll see. It's not a plant that I'm going to be hunting or searching for anytime soon, but if I came across it, I might try it. The narrow form anyway. Okay, so this one is all watered in. So this one I'm gonna put back in my sunroom so it can acclimate a little bit more so that the roots can get a little bit bigger. It'll get quite a bit more sunshine out in my back room as well. So, pretty. Okay, so I have just a few more cuttings to get potted up and then I'll be finished. So I'll be right back. Hopefully this video has been entertaining enough for you all. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you've been enjoying my content.
and thank you so much to all of my subscribers. I've recently reached 1,000 subscribers and I can't thank you all enough. And there will be a giveaway and I'll be posting that video soon so you can look for that. It's actually going to be a pre-announcement to the giveaway. So be sure to look for that and I will be back in a second. Okay, so these are the last of the cuttings that I have to pot up. Honey brought in some new soil. Whew, this has been a busy afternoon. Ready to make myself a cup of coffee and sit down for a little while and then take our dog out. And then maybe come back home and settle in for a movie. That one doesn't have that big of a root. Nor does that one. This one does. Stick that in there. And the root on this one is okay. So we'll put that in there as well. Actually, you know what? This one has the start, so I'm just gonna put it in here and we'll hope for the best. I'm gonna take that leaf off. And then I'm gonna do the same with this one because I know it'll end up rooting. All right, cute. So now I'm just gonna tap it off with some more soil and we're done, guys. Yay, I'm feeling accomplished. Take one more scoop and that'll do it. Those roots in pretty good. Just kind of tapping it down in through the edges here. Fluffing the middle around a little bit. And I think that's good. So I'm gonna water this one in and I'm finished guys. you pretty boy shady are you enjoying the plants what are you doing stinker